I've used Selenium extensively in past videos for web scraping and um, driving through internet like on LinkedIn and my own Fidelity account. And so if you've been following along with some of my videos or if you're just getting an error, uh, you probably noticed that you're starting to get errors um, if you're using the block of code that I've used in previous videos. So that's because Selenium has updated the way you use it and that's what we're going to cover in this video. So let's check it out. But first, welcome to the eighth video in my troubleshooting playlist on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Please consider subscribing, like this video if it helped you, and uh, leave a comment saying thanks. So let's get into the code real quick. So you'll have to pip install Selenium, it's the same way. Um, or you can go to File, Settings if you're in PyCharm, go to your project, whatever it's named, click this plus button and type in sel Selenium, and then install that package. And so this is the old code, right? Um, I also have this selenium.common.exceptions as exceptions if you're going to put this in a try and accept to catch an error. But before you did options, webdriver.chrome options, and then you can pass all these extra options that, um, for example, if you're using Chrome, it'll try to block some of your automated processes. Then uh, driver equals webdriver.chrome, you pass the options, and then you had to pass the executable path of where you downloaded the Chrome driver. So you actually had to go to the Chrome driver download page, save it, and then if you don't have a try and accept failure, you'd get an uh, error frequently because the Chrome driver updates frequently. So now, uh, so let's run that real quick so you can see um, the deprecation errors that you got. And so right away it throws an error, but it still pulls up a website that we put in here, right? So it still works, those codes, but now you're getting a... Um, two errors, deprecation warning, executable path has been deprecated, please pass in a service object, and deprecation warning, use options instead of Chrome options. All right, so let's go over how to fix that real quick. So um, you need to pip install Selenium, just like we did, but this time you also need to do webdriver-manager. So this time we're going to, from Selenium, import webdriver, then from um, selenium.webdriver.chrome.options, import options with the capital O. And then .chrome.service, import service with a capital S. And then from webdriver underscore manager dot chrome, import chrome driver manager. So when you pip install it, you're going to use this hyphen for webdriver manager. When you import it, you're going to use an underscore. So just keep be aware of that. So now options equals O, a capital O for options. You can use the same uh, options, but this time, or not this time, but now we have the option, and I don't know if you could do this with the old way, but you can do a headless. So options.headless equals true, and now it doesn't open up the website that you're trying to do, and you can use beautiful soup, or Selenium to extract the data straight without opening up a uh, home page, which is nice. So um, the rest of these options are the exact same, but now the driver equals webdriver.chrome, and then pass in this service equals service, pass it the chrome driver manager dot install, and then options equals options. And then now you can use Selenium like you always have, driver.get, the website. And so um, so when I run this new code, um, let's assume that I didn't run it this morning prior to do a code. You'll get this downloading, um, this downloading bar here. And what it's doing is it's downloading the newest Chrome driver. So you always have it, which is really nice because it was kind of annoying having to go to... I know I made some automation to download it for me, but still it was annoying. And now you see that the process finished with Exit Code 0, which means it's successful. 
and it didn't even open the web page, which is very useful for scraping because there's no reason to open the website just to scrape it. And it'll load all the JavaScript and everything for you just like Selenium did before. So there's the new um, there's the new code you need. Go ahead and uh, templatize it, which means just save this block of code so you can use Selenium for future projects. So I hope this ho uh, helps somebody. And like I said, please consider subscribing to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment. Thanks. Goodbye, world.